Hello my YouTube videos, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Wear Test Wednesday. If you are new to my channel, I do a wear test every other week where I review either a foundation, a lipstick, a concealer, something that's supposed to be long lasting and wear all day and I do a 10 hour wear test and I figure out if they're worth the buy. If you like these kinds of videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. This week we're focusing on L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I've never tried this but I know that they came out with this less macaroon lay macaroons less mac lay macaron I don't know this is the new launch they just came out with they have these in the regular formula I guess or like the regular packaging when they first came out but this is a new collection it's lay macarons lay macarons I don't I don't really know but I have two shades right here they were ten dollars each which kind of is expensive for the drugstore when I bought them it was buy one get one half off so it actually ended up being 15 bucks instead of 20 for both of these I'm excited to test these out I want to share some of the claims with you and then put them on my lips see how they wear throughout the day all right so it looks like they came out with seven different shades i have the shade praline de paris and then this shade is mademoiselle mango i thought both of these were right up my alley this is a little bit more of a nude berry shade and then this is more of that bright pop of orange so i'm not going to be wearing the orange one today i am going to be inserting pictures of the orange one later on in the video so you can see that I, I did wear it, I did test out as well, but I'm mainly going to be focusing on this one. I will swatch this, but I want to test this one out and they should have the same formula. So regardless of the shade, you should be able to get the same formula. All right, so it says that it is scented with a delightful macaron aroma of almond, vanilla, and cream. Ooh, yum. It's comfortable during wear. It isn't sticky. Yeah, it says it's supposed to be all day full coverage matte wear. So that's what we're gonna be testing out today. It says that it resists transfer and bleeding. I did notice in the store, I actually opened them up and I noticed that they had the very same applicator that the Smashbox Always On at Liquid lipsticks have which I love it is 8 14 a.m. let's see let's swatch them on the back of my hand just so you can get an idea of the color all right so this one is so pretty Ooh, that's really bright and vibrant that is the first shade it smells really good guys I would put that on my legs as a lotion and then this one is the mango shade whoa all right, we're going bold today, apparently. I think I'm still gonna use that top shade instead of this one, because it doesn't really go with the makeup look that I have on right now. Let's go ahead and apply this guy. Mmm, interesting. It definitely is much more bold than the packaging makes it seem. I would say that this is very pigmented. Now, when they're first going on, they are very sticky. Like, I can feel this on my lips, but it should dry down, I think. Mmm. This is a really pretty color, very vibrant. Let me go ahead, see if this dries down because right now, like I said, it is shiny, it is sticky. I'm gonna go ahead and wear this throughout the day. I will do some check-ins and then I'll show you what it looks like at the very end of 10 hour wear. This does claim to be all day wear, so I'm expecting all day wear. I'll go ahead and speed up the drying process just by using a little napkin. I will update you guys if when it dries down, it doesn't get sticky anymore and it applied really easily. Uh oh, I just got some on my dress. Where did it end up? But I have to run. So I'm gonna hop off here and then I'll do some check-ins throughout the day. Hey you guys, it is officially 2.37 in the afternoon. So this lipstick has been on for about six hours and I gotta say it's going strong. Like I have not had to reapply this lipstick since I first applied it this morning. I even ate with it um, we had nachos so it was kind of messy from what I can see it's still on like it hasn't even rubbed off on the inside of my lips yet I do think that this is a little bit more sticky than it claims to be like when I go like this with my lips I can definitely feel it on there but it's not bad it hasn't transferred at all like I even put my lips to a napkin to try and like wipe off I got some nacho cheese on my face so I tried to wipe it off of my lips and nothing came off so I would say this is pretty dang transfer proof and it stayed on so nicely and it hasn't lost any pigmentation like I don't have to worry about this one sliding around or wearing off anywhere weird so yeah we'll continue to see how the rest of the day goes 
goes. I am gonna be eating again, so I guess that'll be kind of like the final test to see if it comes off with not eating once, but maybe twice. But yeah, I'll check it back in at the very end of the night and we'll see how it's holding up. All right, you guys, it is a few days later and I wanted to show you this one on my lips. Oh my gosh, this is like my shade. I think that I'm really growing into more of the like red oranges because I feel like it really looks flattering on my skin tone. And I don't know, I'm just feeling the shade. This is so, so good. By the way, these lipsticks, are so good. Um, they smell really yummy when you apply them and they're so pigmented. They last literally all day. And yeah, so this is what the shade Mademoiselle Mango looks like on the lips. Very, very bright. This is not for the faint of heart when it comes to like nudes. If you are a nude type of person and you don't like bright lipsticks, this is definitely not gonna be for you. The, sh the color on the outside does a pretty good representation of what it's actually look like on the lips. Although I feel like this looks a little bit more red orange than just orange. Like on the tube, it just looks orange, but on the lips, it looks a little bit more of that red orange shade. All right, you guys, it is 8.30 in the evening. So this product has been on my lips for at least 10 hours. And the fact that I only had to apply this product one time in the morning, I did not reapply this throughout the day, and it's still on my lips. It is starting to transfer a little bit more than it did in the beginning of the day, but even through eating twice and drinking and all of that stuff, it still stayed on my lips. I would say at about four o'clock-ish, like when I got into like the six hour, six, seven, eight hour mark is when I started to feel a little bit more dryness on in the inside of my lips, but what other liquid lipstick doesn't do that? I don't feel like these are more drying than normal. I definitely have more lipsticks that are drier than this in terms of formula. So I feel like it was really comfortable to wear on the lips all day long. The only thing I would say with this is that it is just a little sticky throughout the day, like I can feel this on my lips more than something like the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. And I actually think the Sephora Cream Lip Stain is either the same price or cheaper than these. I would actually say just go with those, but these are a good option if you want to find something at Walgreens or at Target. Yeah, I definitely give these a big thumbs up. I'm gonna say that these are pretty good. You should check them out and see if you like them as well. I am normally a liquid lipstick kind of person, so I like the ones that stay on my lips all day long without drying out my lips so bad. Chris actually told me, he was like, I wonder what it's gonna look like when you wipe them off to see if it leaves a stain. Cause he's like, if it lasts this long on your lips, it's gotta leave a stain. So actually I'm gonna try that right now. I have some makeup remover wipes and this is what I would normally use to take this off. So let's just see. Comes off pretty easily. It doesn't look like it's leaving a stain. All right, well this is really screwing up my foundation around my lips, so that's fine. I actually just did some yoga, and I'm gonna hop in the shower, watch some Game of Thrones with Chris, and call it a night. That was actually a lot less painful than I thought it was gonna be. My lips are a little pink, but yeah, I feel like that's almost looks like my normal lips. It's just got a little bit of pink left over. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you tried this formula, even like the regular ones that are not this collection. Let me know if you like them because I've heard good things about them. Definitely one of the best liquid lipsticks I've tried at the drugstore. The other ones I would recommend are the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, which are half the price of this. But I would say for the staying power, I'd say that these actually last longer than the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits. That's just my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a great day. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.